It's another crew review for you guys. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and today I'm here to show you the latest rocket models that have come out from Rocket in Milano, Italy. This is the Giotto version of one of the newer ones, and there's the uh, Mazafiato as well, but this is the Giotto, and this is the uh, type V, which means vibratory pump. That means that you cannot plumb this machine in. So this is a tank only machine. And speaking of the tank, it's right back here. And it is, comes out just like that. 2.5 liters of water. Slips right back down in there like that. The lid right here. It also comes with the uh, cups around right up here. And this actually comes off. Let's say in your kitchen, this is too tall. This comes off. You can make it a little bit shorter, the cup rail. As you can see, it's a nice uh, stainless steel, polished stainless steel casing, just like all the rocket machines. They're beautiful. Can't get away from that. Hot water over here and steam one over here with an anti-burn steam arm on it, which means that doesn't mean that it's not going to get hot. After you get st done steaming, it is going to be somewhat warm. You probably don't want to touch it too much. What it does mean though, it's cooler, so the milk that's on here won't burn on as fast. So you have time to wipe it off once you're done. And don't forget to do that and purge it also when you're done to get any milk out of that tip. It comes with uh, lots of stuff. Um, comes with a single and a double porta filter. And here's the single, see single spout, double spout. Comes with the uh, aluminum tamper, I think it's aluminum. Comes with a sample of some uh, cleaning tablets. Comes with a flash drive, which has the manual on it. Back flush basket, so that you can keep it good and clean. A brew head brush. Microfiber cloth for keeping all the shine going on. And the manual, which will include every rocket machine that they make. One manual does it all, and in numerous uh, languages. So it's a really nice manual. I like it. Everybody back over there. Uh, it also, as you can tell, come on. Let me get the angle. There. It's all about the angle. E61 brew head. And what does that mean to you? That means that the temperature from the boiler to the coffee or the water coming out through the coffee is going to be more stable. This has hot water that siphons through it from the boiler uh, all the time, which keeps it at a nice constant temperature. It has a lever. It's a lever machine. And if you take it just to a 45 degree angle like that, you are going to get somewhat of a, uh, a pre-infusion. It works better if the machine is plumbed in, which you can't plumb this machine. But if you want a true pre-infusion, get a machine that you can plumb in. E61, right behind it, is the three-way solenoid valve. What does that do? That When you put that lever down, the valve opens, and it releases any pressure and excess water that's on top of that coffee up in there, on top of the puck. And so you're going to get a somewhat drier coffee puck. It's not going to be totally dry, but it's going to be a lot drier than if you did not have this. Two manometers right down here. This one over here tells you what's going on inside the boiler. And as you can see from the green zone, it should be between 1 to 1.5 bars of pressure. And then over here, if your coffee is ground properly, uh, this needle will, it's back pressure up in here is what it is on the E61. The back pressure should be somewhere between 9 to 10 bars. And so you want to be in that zone. And that lets you know that your coffee is ground properly. And again, go by taste. If it tastes good, you know, that's what you really care about. OK, so let's move down to the drip tray. It is the typical drip tray, pieces and parts, you know, just like it should be. And here, hiding behind the drip tray, is the PID. Now, the PID controls the temperature of the heat exchanger boiler under the hood. And what that does is it allows you to change the temperature for different coffees. And it also allows you to know exactly what the temperature is so that you're going to get the best quality at the brew head. So these numbers 
what you do to change it is push this till it says program and then that doink 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 and then you can take it back down in the manual there is a conversion chart that tells you how this converts from this number up to the temperature that you're going to get at the brew head so check that out the Giotto also what makes this one a little bit different is the side panels as you can see they are curved which is kind of nice it also comes with two levels on the feet right now we've got it at the highest and this section right under here you can take it out and lower it down that's another way to get it under a cabinet that it might be a little slim pickings under there okay uh, what else do we have that this machine is it's brand new is a timer right here and it times the shot it's not programmed it's just showing you how many seconds things are going as you can see so you know how long your shot ran and then the other thing that this machine has it's a little bit different than the old uh, the older model is after 90 seconds it no 90 minutes not seconds 90 seconds man you'd be going crazy 90 minutes it will shut itself and go into uh, econo mode and what it does is it shuts off the heating element inside the heat exchanger it'll be indicated if this is st still on this light will be blinking to let you know when you come back to it if it's not hot that's why turn it off turn it off turn it back on again and the boiler will come up to temperature the other thing that that blinking light indicates is your water tank has run out of water if you get that blinking light while you're brewing or whatever that's indicative of no water in the tank mm -mm -mm. so that's what's going on and the other thing I want to do is show you before we make a drink I'm going to show you under the hood so hang tight for a second and we're going to take the lid off and show you what's going on under the hood okay so take the the uh, cup rail off the lid here's your water tank that I talked about earlier 2.5 liters of water and then there's usually two screws down at the bottom of this stainless surround where the water tank goes which I already took them out so that it would go faster but I'm, we're not recommending you take the lid off on this machine and do anything to it without authorization from us first because you avoid your warranty we don't want that okay so here it is all the copper tubing as you can see that comes off of the boiler which is right here this is a uh, the boiler is a heat exchanger and it is 2.5 liters with insulation on it to help it be more energy efficient the uh, vibratory pump is down under there and really it's just a small little pump compared to the rotary pump but as you can see nice copper tubing feeding the steam the e61 the the water side of things very well built and a lot of controls down in there as well so that's the inside under the hood let's put her back together all right that was pretty good wasn't it everybody likes to see what's under the hood yeah have you ever walked by a car and there's about five people the hood is up and everybody's got their head in there well same thing here uh milk let's get some milk get some coffee today we're brewing up the stump town hairbender uh, it looks pretty good I dialed it in for this this grinder the Eureka grinder yeah this is good stuff mm -mm -mm. the notes say citrus and dark chocolate okay I'm gonna you're gonna see my back for a second no I'm not gonna show you my back it's easier for me to do the steaming and all from this side so the first thing you want to do whenever you're uh, brewing like this or steaming your milk is open this up and get the condensation out it's just a little bit of milk that'll be sitting in, or milk water that's sitting in there and you don't want that in your milk so Oh yeah that's hot 
Uhu. Thirty seconds. I don't know if you were watching that, but that's what we got going on. And as you noticed, this machine, a heat exchanger or a double boiler, you can brew and steam at the same time, which is a nice feature. It just speeds everything up. You're not waiting, because if you don't have it that way, uh, you're waiting for the boiler either to come up to temperature or cool down when you only have one boiler. All right, let's see. Look at how nice that looks. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I'm so good at hearts and garlics now. I don't <laughs> That's all I can do. Don't look too bad. Let's see how it tastes. Yum. It's good stuff. We're liking that. So that's the Giotto. The V, type V, means vibratory pump. Can't plumb it in, but water tank and the whole deal. Uh, did I? I th oh, you know what? I know I did. I talked about how much water there is. There's 1.8 liters of water back there in that tank. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and leave any of your comments down below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Cheers.